Shanty. They offer professional application of open or low sound spray insulation, depending on your needs. K Ray Texas Limited serves Eastern Texas yeah, and right. Western Oklahoma. No job is too big. Probably to not. Check out K Ray Texas LTD Spray Foam. Okay, insulation. we're doing some more folks on the road. Call Kelly Tippins for a free estimate. Because we are about to cross into Texas. How many miles did that say? Four. That's to Amarillo, uh, yeah. Yeah, four miles to go to the state. Four miles! 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 And who's on the radio? George Strait. Do you believe that? Okay, Laura and Heather, ha ha. It really is George Strait this time. Text solo one, exit, exit one, one mile. Wow, thank you, God. I named somebody the right thing, George Strait. One mile, one mile. I haven't been to Texas since before I met you. I went for my 21st birthday down to Houston. Thank goodness we're not going down to that armpit. That is nothing but humidity down there. Horrible. I think um, we be going to the northern part, Amarillo. So good, pro. Cattle over there. I think I see an official sign up here. Official government signage. Welcome to Big Texas. Wheeler County Line. We're at the Texas State Line. Welcome to Texas, everybody. I really like Oklahoma. And I know I love Texas. Without the humidity. 100 miles to the travel campus. So we made it to Texas. Beautiful. So 
different. Every stage, so different. Fun to watch, fun to look at. How fast are we going? 66. We're going 66, and people just walking past us like we're standing still. Hey, there's our station we can come in right there, Doug. Let's move to Texas. Start us a garage up here. And Arizona, I mean, Oklahoma had all these overpasses. They were all decorated with stamped concrete and designs in it everywhere. It's beautiful. I really like Oklahoma. Really, really do. Really like Oklahoma. There's an old well plumber. There's the airport up here. It is stretched out in front of you. And the wind's blowing again. But you don't see any of those big wind chopper things around here. There's a bunch of cattle out there. You don't see the windmills out here, but boy, the wind is just blowing us all over. And we found out it had rocked rocked us so bad with the bad roads and everything else, all our tie-downs were loose. I, I could hear something scraping and rumbling when we were leaving the campground this morning. I looked in the mirror here and this tie down was just wiggling, just flapping in the breeze. So Doug stopped and tightened all of them up. Oh my gosh. This poor rigmarole is taking a beat. So we're good now. We just need, let's see, we need a toilet. We need a new, what'd you say, a thermostat for the water heater? Electric part. We oh, electric part. Now, just now, I've kind of figured out why I don't look. It has to be mounted to the side of the tank to pick up the heat. Oh, because we got up this morning, water was everywhere under the camper, so the water heater just got too hot. Uh -oh. The pop off valve went off, and we had spillage under the under the rigmarole, but he knows, thank God, he's a mechanic, knows what to do, so he's got it figured out. No problems. Hey, bartender. This one's for you, Bob. Who's singing that? I guess it's George Strait. Perfect music for Texas. Boots good buggy. Well, there's somebody's old dream bar crashed in. They kind of lost us. Wow, look at how flat. Wow. Shamrock. I need that sign right there. You can pull that thing down and bring it to me. It's all spread out before you in Texas. Okay, we made it to the big city of Amarillo. And we're halfway to California. So that's not bad for two and a half days. And we did realize that one of our turnbuckles fell off of rigmarole. So we're going to go find a tractor supply and get another turnbuckle and some chains and S hooks and hook her back up.
so far Amarillo looks like every other town. Palo Duro Canyon State Park. That might be a good one to hit on the way back. Palo Duro and Lake Meredith National Recreation and Elevate Flint, whatever. And more construction. I think they came and got all the barrels from Charlotte. They are between Texas and Oklahoma. We've seen so much construction. They have got it going on. Oklahoma looks like Boomtown, and looks like Texas is just having to redo all their roads again. Wide them out. They're putting in another lane, maybe, huh? Both sides. Well, there's McDonald's, so you know that it is. Well, there's an Indian museum and a trading post. And that free 72 ounce steak, I that's I got to do that. Doug doesn't think I can do it. I think I can. Let's see what's up over this hill, and then I'll cut it off here. Horse and rider saddling at warehouse. So gas is 255 here. That's about average what we've been paying. We're lucky if we get it down into two thirties or the two forties, but it's it's between two fifty five and two seventy five, Doug. Is that yeah. about it? Yeah. So it's about the same everywhere. They got a lock on it. Just more construction. There goes douche cleaners. There's a red pony. I hope Matt twist it sitting on this video. Got a window open. Cavenders, Texas boots, Mexican beer inspired by the sun. There's a TA and loves, yeah, it's got everything around here. Okay, big city, Amarillo. We're halfway.